Hi, my name is Jeremy McMenemy, and I'm going to show you around a few bits of Glasgow. Large pyramid structure on the left hand side, you can see, is the St. Hinoch Centre, which was opened in 1990 on the site of the original St. Hinoch Railway Station, which was demolished in 1977. The suspension bridge you can see in front of you is the South Portland Street Suspension Bridge. After it was begun building in 1851 as a disaster, because the tower split and they had to rebuild, although they're currently the oldest surviving bridge structures in Glasgow. Glasgow Central Station is one of the two surviving main railway stations in Glasgow. That's the first trans Pennine train, first run most of the public transport in Glasgow, so you can probably avoid them if you want to go. It's a fibreglass statue of La Passionaria, constructed in 1977 by Arthur Dooley, the Robert Budlin architect, in tribute to the British soldiers in the Spanish Civil War. About to see St Andrew's Cathedral. It's the main Catholic cathedral in Glasgow, constructed between 1840 and 1816. Yeah, the architect was John Gillespie Graham. Rotten Row Gardens was opened in 2004, officially, previously it opened in effect in 2003, on the site of the former Royal Maternity Hospital. It was moved to Royal Infirmary in 2001, and the site was demolished in 2002. Large safety pins, statue, a monument to maternity. A tribute to the many children who are born in Rotten Maternity Hospital. You see various buildings, Trackway University, which completely surrounds it. The Rotten Portico and the North Portland Street Arch, which you'll see in a moment, are the two surviving pieces of the Royal Maternity Hospital, which were incorporated into Rotten Garden when it was designed. See the architecture building in the far top left, the Colville building, and Livingston Tower. And the bottom right building there is the Collins building, which includes a small art gallery. And now we're moving on to Buchanan Street, which is one of the main shopping streets of Glasgow. Princess Square is a shopping centre, mostly restaurants and other non-essentials. The man in the bottom left hand corner is not a statue, he's actually a person you often see around Glasgow made up to look like a statue and holding himself very still for a long period of time. Police boxes, which we're more familiar with from Doctor Who. This particular police box was actually a coffee kiosk for a short time in the early 2000s. Nelson Mandela Place is obviously named after the South African president. Uh, the Glasgow subway is actually a ring rail rather than a large network, but it's one of the oldest subways in the world, dating from 1896, predated only by the London Underground and the Budapest Metro. And the statue of Donald Dewar, who there shall be a Scottish Parliament is engraved in the base. Uh, he guided the Scotland back to set up the Scottish Parliament through the UK Parliament and then became the first First Minister of Scotland. Now moving on to the Glasgow Necropolis, which was opened in 1832. We're looking over the bridge's size, looking toward the entrance of the Necropolis. There are over 50,000 individuals buried in the Necropolis. There's 3,500 monuments, including these other ornate Celtic crosses.
were about to look toward the Clark Cathedral. It was originated from the late 12th century, but it was mostly built between the 13th and 15th centuries. It is technically no longer cathedral, because although it survived the Reformation relatively unscathed, it is currently ministered by the Church of Scotland, who as a Presbyterian church did not have bishops and therefore did not formally have cathedrals. And that concludes our short tour of Glasgow.